gave it to my grandmother, and my grand great grandmother gave it to my uh, grandmother, and she gave it to my mother, and I, and all of us would be wearing it from death until from burn until death. I said, sister, please, if you want to pass it to your daughter, keep it here. Because they may do what? They may steal it. So do not bring your expensive watches. Do not bring your expensive jewelry. Expensive jewelry. Why? Buy you something cheap. If you have to buy a watch, go to Walmart. Buy you like, buy you like a $10 plastic watch and keep it here. Don't, I mean, if it got lost, it's $10. I'll go and get me another one. Yes? Coming up. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come up. It's going to come up. That's definitely something important. Okay. Okay. Make two copies of your passport. That's what I recommend. I would put one in, the, in, the, uh, in, your, in my bag in case I lost my passport or they lost my passport in Saudi Arabia. I would have a copy at least where it has my photo and the, and the, uh, and the uh, passport number. And keep one in the United States in case it get lost, it could always be scanned and sent over to the U.S. Embassy or consulate. They will issue you another passport. But inshallah, none of that really happened. Probably happened only once, so it's not a really a big deal. <clears throat> Bags. Uh, uh, name tag on all, make sure. And you are allowed one piece of the carry-on. The carry-on is 45 linear inches. That is 22 by 14 by 9. So when you add the 22 to 14 by 9, they call it 45 linear inches. That's the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the bag that you are, need to carry. And I always, if you've noticed when you uh, have baggage reclaim, all bags are what color? All of them are black. All of them look the same. So how would I be able to tell mine? I would be able to tell mine if I put what? Something colorful like this on it. From a distance, man, this is mine. Although this is blue. Right? But if it is black, oh, like hundreds of them comes black. Uh, which one? No, and then you start, oh, no, this is not mine. Oh, no. And everyone is dragging because buy you a bag that is not black. That's number one. If it still has to be a bag, black, have something that is uniquely identify that. Uh, put the important things in your carry-on. Definitely prescription, medications. Your ihram, if you are stopping in Mecca, need not to be aware in your checked bag because you will not have access to it, right? So you have, if you are checking into Mecca first and you're doing tawaf al-qudum or tawaf al-umrah in Mecca, your ihram needs to be where? Needs to be in your carry-on, not in your check bag because you will not have access to your check bag until you pass your miqat. And we know what miqat is all about, okay? No liquids over 3.4 ounces. And we're talking about maybe something like that, right? So you put on it and you may be labeling it. Uh, you'd be able to buy something from the dollar store. Dollar store sells you a Ziploc bag with four bottles in it for a dollar. And then you could fill one of them with lotion and the other one may be a shampoo, the third one may be conditioner, the third one sunblock, whatever you might, you could put it in something like that. So that is, each one of them could not be more than 3.4 ounces. So, but all together they could be more than that. So that is definitely needed. Okay, so something like Ziploc bag like this, you have all of your medication, you have all of the liquids, if you would, in it, including toothpaste, including any kind of liquid or semi-liquids that you may use. So if you want to buy those things, something like that, inshallah. Okay, and it has to be a quart, it has to be a quart size, not a gallon size. This one is not acceptable. This one is not acceptable. I have one time in an airport in Kentucky, and I had my stuff in a bag like this. And this, the officer says, hey, stop. Sir, you need to take this bag, and you go back and check it in. Or either you check your bag, or you get this, these liquids. And I said, hold on, hold on. I always have what? I have a quart size. I put it up. I put it in another one. I said, am I legal now? He says, yes, you are legal now. I mean, it's a stupid thing, but yeah, I definitely need what? A smaller one. Do not get the big one, get the smaller one. Because I was illegal. When I, went, I put the liquids in a different, in a smaller container, I was legal and I could pass through. Okay, personal item, uh, you have one, in addition to your carry-on, you have a, a personal item. They are like 40 uh, linear inches. 
They're a little bit smaller, maybe something like a backpack. So you basically could have two pieces inside the plane to yourself. Check bag, you're allowed one piece, to the best of my knowledge. They are 62 linear inches, they are bigger. They are about 50 pounds, and you need a TSA lock. What's a TSA lock? Something like that that has this red sign on it. I recommend one that has the combination on it because it's easier just in case. Don't use the one with the, with the key because you may lose the key and then you'd be able not to open it. So it's easier to use a, a combo lock into it. Again, my recommendation that you identify your bag, if it's black specifically, with colorful things like that, uh, and, and place inside big letters. That's what I also recommend in case they do what? Sometimes baggage handlers are very, what, very genteel. So they not only pull what? Pull the whole handle out of it, so you lose your name tag and all of that. But if they were to open it, they would find right on the face of it your name, your address, and phone number. They'd be able to contact you or identify the, the pieces in it. So that's basically my, my recommendation. Stuff in checked bag are what? Are replaceable. I'm not going to hang my life into it. So there are some extra clothes, but I could always buy what? Buy some extra clothes from there. Stuff in checked bag, just in case it get lost, or I could not get access to it when I get to Mecca or Medina, is always, always replaceable. Only the stuff in my carry-on are the one that I need to always be watching for. Yes? So you say you're only allowed one, but who enforces that policy? Is it by Saudi airline, or who allows you to only have one checked bag? One checked bag. Most of the airline has that policy. So not all of them. So it allows you to. Okay. But if you are basically on an American carrier, it's basically what? So it may allow you even 70 pounds. I don't know. Yeah, so Emirates allows you three. Each one of them is 70 pounds. Yeah, so Do I? Coming back, they will kind of yeah. go. Here in Dulles is kind of different. Yeah, so um, it's back. safer to have one. I mean, but nice you're only going back. like two weeks. What do you need? What, they weigh like 20, 20 bags. You buy what? Uh, beads worth at 10 pounds, man. And probably the heaviest thing, the water zemzem -zem that you're getting me from there. That's the heaviest thing that you're going to get. What is the, uh, how does the water zemzem -zem you bring in? We'll talk about it coming up. Coming up because that's at the end. We're still going. We have not returned yet. Okay. Right? We're still, we're, we don't have zemzem -zem yet. We are still in Raleigh. Okay? We are with airport security. Relax, calm down, please, okay? I mean, they, they do a lot of stuff. Now they have dogs at the, at the RDU, right? They have dogs sniffing people. Please walk the yellow line, walk carefully, and do not pet the dog. So you have to walk carefully, and the dog comes in and sniffing you. So if you have a dog phob phobia, may Allah help you. It's not easy. Okay, <clears throat> keep your photo identification handy. In the United States, if the TSA, all what they're interested in is a photo ID, such as a driver license and your boarding pass. The uh, ticket counter may be interested in your passport because they are going to scan it. At the gate, they may be interested in your passport. So each, each area may have a unique, uh, a, a unique requirements. Have your passport and e-ticket ready. They may ask you for it. TSA security, depending if you are a TSA pre-check or not pre-check. If, if, if you are not a pre-check, you have to remove your, sho uh, your shoes, jackets, and coats if you have it. Remove all metal objects, keys and coins, you do what? So you, you may, if you have it like a jacket, put them all in what? In the pockets of your jacket. The belt, the keys, the coins, and zip them and, and throw it out. Uh, and and uh, wallet and belt, also you need to put them all, or put them in your carry-on so that you will be able to carry it. Place, place all above in a tray, uh, and, and they, they may ask you to show the Ziploc bag. They may not. Uh, it, it all depends. So there are certain items, if, if anyone uses a CPAP, no one uses a CPAP? Okay, so if you're using a CPAP, they may ask you to pull it out. Don't make any jokes, please. Do not make jokes. So if they ask you, uh, what do you have in that bag? 